All right. What we're going to do is we're going to draw for two $25 gift cards for Bass Pro Shops. Again, they'll be passing out hot dogs and, and uh, raffle tickets. We'll do two drawings at the end of the event. You do need to be present to win. <sighs> this is a lot of pressure. All right. All right. Here we go. One. One's the first number. Who has that? Six. Zero. Four. Three. Oh, six. Once again, one, six, zero, four, three, six. What? Do you see it? Do we see him? Last call. One, six, zero, four, three, six. Uh-oh, I don't think they're here. We're going to pull another one. All right. One, six, zero, four, four, eight. Four, four, eight. Ah, we got a winner. Come on up here. We'll verify your check, your ticket. Here, let me, we'll do the other one. We'll just stand by. We'll, we'll find you. All right, shake it up, he said. Shakey, 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 shakey. All right. One, six, zero, four, four, four. I shook it up. You saw me. Four, four, four. Oh, I hear it right here. Where are you? Oh, there it is right there. Four, four, four. Take her gift card. All right. We got two more to give away towards the end of the way in or at the end of the way in. So if you stick around, we'll do that immediately following our champions being crowned. Meantime, we're getting ready to get started. You folks ready to get started? Are you sure? Hey, Jay, help me out. See these hats here? I want you to find the craziest fans out here and give them a bass cap. Who's a fast fan? Oh, come on, bass fans. What a great crowd we got here today. Well, how about way over there on the end by the entrance? Yeah, we got some crazy fans down there. One more. One more. I don't know. One more. Come on. Let's see. All right. Don't hurt anybody. How's everyone doing now? Hey, I want to welcome everyone to day three, our final day, our top 12, our championship day of the Bass Pro Shops, a Bass Master Central Open presented by Allstate. It's been a fantastic, fantastic week here in Ridgeland, Mississippi, started our week up there. Madison Landing had two fantastic days. Of course, here we are in Pearl. Hey, put your hands together for Bass Pro Shops, our title sponsor, rolling out the red carpet. Man, their staff is fantastic to work with each and every stop. It's been, I think this is our our fourth or fifth season, I can't even remember. It's been such a long relationship, but, but it's been fantastic in uh, each and every stop. And, you know, it seems like I'm probably I'm going to do this. It seems like every time we get to the Bass Pro Shops on Saturdays, we get a beautiful day and a beautiful crowd. So it really seems like uh, someone's looking down on us, and we appreciate that. We got a lot of things to talk about as we work through this way. And I took a poll earlier. I saw that many of you were out there for our first two days of competition and, and saw 197 pros, 197 co anglers hit the water. Several of you are out there for our 7 o'clock Toyota takeoffs in the morning. And uh, of course, we checked them in at 3 o'clock all the way. Our last flight's checking in at 5.15, waiting, going into about 6 o'clock. So those anglers had long, long days, a lot of hard work, pre-practice or practice that, and, and pre-practice, many of them starting um, more than a week ago fishing Ross Burnett Reservoir, and it all comes down to this, over $250,000 worth of cash and merchandise. But we got a lot of folks that we got to thank that make this happen. Of course, we mentioned Bass Pro Shops, our title sponsor, and it, everything they do. And hopefully you got, got in there and got a chance to take a look around the store. I want to thank Allstate. Allstate has been our presenting sponsor for the last two years. Uh, they, uh, they are fantastic to, to work with, and uh, they really 
you know, if you need, if you need a, a quote for your automobile, your homeowners, or certainly your boat, you need to check out our friends with Allstate because they'll be more than willing to get you the coverage you need and get in good hands with Allstate. And they also have the Good Hands Great Day program that we awarded yesterday. It's our angler in both the pro and co-angler division that makes the largest jump in the standings from day one to day two. Interestingly enough, one of those anglers in the pro division, Luke Clausen, 2006 Bassmaster Classic champion, jumped all the way from 139th place to 7th place fishing the top 12. He got that $250 award. And on the co-angler side, Joel Ross had a monster day yesterday and jumped 116 spots. Can you believe that? With his three fish and uh, got $150. So we appreciate Allstate helping out with that. Of course, Toyota, longtime sponsor of Bass, official f vehicle of Bass, and going to watch Toyotas pull through all these rigs as they come through our way in today. And, of course, uh, they have a bonus bucks program. It's a contingency program that supports the anglers that support their products. If you fish tournaments, certainly, hopefully, you're fishing Bass events. But if you're fishing other series as well, they do have contingency money. Our top finishing pro this week, and of course, Stephen Browning, number 12, getting ready to come through. Proud Toyota runner, eligible for that bonus bucks. It's a $1,500 bonus to our top finishing pro. It's uh, $1,000 for the second highest finishing pro. And they, you know, what's so cool about Toyota and their reward program is they saw a need for some incentive for co-anglers, understanding that they need to get to the lake too. So it's a $200 and $150 award on the co-angler side as well. We appreciate their support with that. I want to thank Berkeley Bates, longtime supporter of Bass. And, of course, if you go in the Bass Pro Shop, the shelves are literally loaded with that great per Berkeley product. Of course, many of it endorsed by our Bassmaster Elite Series pros. I want to thank Evan Williams Bourbon. I want to talk about Triton Boats and Mercury Outboards because they have stepped up big time. It's a great opportunity to tell you that our top finishing pro angler, in addition to over $8,400 in cash, is going to win a brand new 19 TRX Triton Boat powered by 200 horsepower Mercury Pro XS motor. And our top finishing co-angler is going to win a Triton 179 TRX powered by 115 horsepower Mercury Pro XS. Of course, Skeeter Boats, Yamaha Outboards, great boat motor package. Many of the pros, especially here in our central region, run those great Skeeter Yamaha rigs. Hummingbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolley Motors, Nitro Boats, and new to the lineup and excited to have them. And you're seeing a lot of the pros, and we took advantage, full, full advantage of this product at the Bassmaster Classic is GoPro. Give all those sponsors a big round of applause if you would. And, of course, we have some great supporting sponsorships from Carhartt and Livingston Lures, PowerPole. We talked about their Captain's Cash program earlier. Lawrence Electronics, Hook Gear. Hook Gear has got some exciting new apparel coming out again. A lot of our Elite Series anglers, a lot of anglers here in the Opens wearing their great products this week. Rigid Industries, if you haven't seen their lighting systems for your trucks and your boats, you definitely need to get, get in the Bass Pro and check them out or get online. they got some great, great products. ARE Truck Caps, they got out some of their newest technology they're looking uh, at rolling out hopefully soon, right, Brian? You're working on it. But uh, they got a display over there. They'd love to show you around uh, the ARE uh, product line. I want to thank Dick Seepick Tires and Shimano, of course, helping us out with our live release efforts. Our goal is to get each and every one of these bass caught in Ross Burnett back. Give those supporting sponsors a big round of applause. And when you're doing that, you need to thank your local our local partners and in, in in the local host here, the Ridgeland Tourism Commission, they're the ones who brought Bass to town, and you have to remember that, along with our great partnership with Bass Pro Shops, we need the support of that local community. Ridgeland, again, like they did in 2013, steps up to the plate. We appreciate everything they've done. Of course, Pearl River Valley Authority for uh, allowing us to use Madison Landing and the various restaurants, Pelican Cove, 
uh, Bar and Grill, and uh, Cock of the Walk right there. They've really been very, very uh, helpful as far as allowing, you know, an influx of literally hundreds of people into their community. So we really, really appreciate that. So make sure if you can, reach out to those folks and thank them so we can come back time and time again. We got a lot of things happening. We got a lot of anglers, 24 to be exact, away. But before we do that, like we always do, with all of our bass weigh-ins, if we could take a moment and ask you to please rise and remove your caps so we can pay tribute to our fighting soldiers and, of course, and, of course, our veterans with the playing of our national anthem. All right, I want you to keep your hands together for my good friend from the Mississippi Bass Nation, Jay Lentner. How you doing, Jay? This is it, man. You've done, he's done all the heavy lifting this week. Man, can you believe the crowd that has showed up here today? Well, we got some fishing fanatics out here, huh? Give, you round, give yourself a round of applause. Hey, I just want to say, you know, everybody thinks that this, uh, this stage right here, how would y'all like to walk across this stage? Do you realize that you can do this without even owning a boat? Huh? Get to fish with uh, guys like Stephen Browning back here, Jason Christie. You can do that right here. All you got to do is be a Bass member. Go on to Bassmaster.com. Register for the Bass Opens. Of course, you yourself heavily involved in our Bass Nation series. It's really our, our grassroots level, uh, uh, a nation in each and every state uh, across this great country. And uh, folks can just go online and learn how to get more involved, can't they? That's right. Go to MississippiBassNation.com. Spell it all out. We have a new website that's up and running. Uh, if you want to get involved, we got local presidents, local clubs. You don't have to own a boat. We always looking for nine boaters to get in. And that, guys, gals, everybody, you can make it to the Bassmaster Classic straight through that local club. That's great, and a great program, and also you guys do some fantastic stuff with the youth movement, uh, of course, high school bass fishing this week right down the road on Toledo Bend Reservoir and your conservation efforts, and that's where you and your volunteers, thank all the volunteers with yellow caps, everything they've done. We've had a tremendous success rate, and our goal, again, is to get all the fish back into the fishery, and you guys are largely responsible for that. That's right. Now, one thing on the high school note, uh, Mississippi is really stretching out, getting our high school program going. We have right now, I think, nine or ten high schools. We're going to come back to Ross Barnett May 9th for a high school state championship. We're going to name a high school team that's going to compete in June at the regional. 
for some big cash prizes, scholarships. I think last year we gave away $60,000 of scholarships for these kids. All right, that's a great program, and I think we're about ready to get this party started. You folks ready to get rolling? <laughs> Stephen Browning, are you ready to roll? Thumbs up. Let's go ahead and bring through our first pro angler, Stephen Browning. You see him on the Bassmaster Elite Series, running around in that Triton boat powered by a Mercury outboard. Comes from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Got a chance to fish with Armorello, Texas. Bill McNown, come on up. Come on up, Bill. We're going to ask you to come on up. Oh, you didn't have to jump down. That's what the stairs are there for. All right, Bill. Sorry, man. Don't hurt yourself, man. You made it this far. You just wanted to show off for the ladies, didn't you? That's right. Yeah. Steven, Steven took care of me today. He, uh, he was on fish, and we really caught him. He had 15 pounds and four ounces. He needs 5'9 to take over the lead in the co anger side. Bam. 10 pounds and three ounces. A new leader. Hold a couple of those up, Bill. Bill McCown. From Texas, we had anglers literally from all across this United States of America and several international anglers. Oh, right now, the Big Bass, the Bass Pro Shops, Big Bass of the tournament on the co-angler side, seven pounds, three ounces. That's not going to be enough to beat that, but a great, great bag. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. I enjoyed this tournament. Tell us about the week and tell us about Ross Burnett. It, uh, it showed me to be pretty tough to begin with. But as the, as the week went on, of course, everybody knows how much it rained. And being from Amarillo, Texas, that's a lot of rain. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it, it was a great, great fishery. And I don't know how these guys learn how to fish this thing. It's so big. But it's, it's a super lake. I'd, uh, like to, I'd like to come back. All right. We can probably make that happen. Excellent job. Hey, Bill. Bill, Sir. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Stick around for a minute right there in that seat if you don't mind. I don't mind. I love have a seat in the co-angler hot seat. And when he's settling down in, we'll have Stephen Browning, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, bag up his fish. What do we got? Oh, we can't even get him out of the live well. What? All right. Come on up. All right. Here's what I'm looking for. Seven pounds, 11 ounces, you got that. The question is, how much of a cushion do you have? Well, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to have a big cushion, but it, uh, it was the best day that I've had yet. 15 pounds and 9 ounces. Stephen Browning, two-time winner of the Bass Pro Shops. Bassmaster opens, presented by Allstate, jumps to the lead. All right, so it got progressively better for you all week, huh, Stephen? What, uh, what were the keys to success? You know, I, th I think it, it, this is one of my favorite places in the whole country to fish just because I know that most of the fish are only going to be in, you know, probably less than five or six feet of water. So it eliminates a lot of the lake, uh, even though it is relatively shallow. But it, but you still can, can get your boat in about five or six feet of water. And, and I, the big the bait for me this week was a chatterbait. And uh, I threw a black and chartreuse chatterbait and a chartreuse trailer on it, and that just seemed to be the key. And... Um, you know, it's, I, I told my partner this morning, you know, we had eight hours of fishing. I told him we got a 10-minute run, five-minute idle. We're going to fish for seven and a half hours. We're going to pick the trolling motor up, and we're going to go back out. And that's exactly what I did. Not, that's what I really love about this place. You just put your trolling motor down and go fishing, and that's, that's, you know, the key to a lot of my success over the years. Okay, well, great job sitting in the, with with uh, 42 pounds, 13 ounces in the lead. You and Bill spent a lot of time together. I'm going to have you spend some more time if you don't mind. How's that sound, Bill? You good with that, Stephen? All right. And when they're settling down, we're going to have our next angler. He comes from Park Hill, Oklahoma. His name is Jason Christie. Jason got a chance to fish alongside Tra Travis Laurent from Gonzales, Louisiana. <sighs> We're going to go ahead and get uh, Travis once we get that boat stopped. We'll ask you to safely exit with your bag of fish and come on up here. And Bill's going to watch this thing go down 
front and center. How you doing, Bill? Uh, I'm a little shaky right now, thanks. I will tell you, he has the three fish co-angler limit. Our pros fishing for five fish, co-anglers fishing for three. He needs eight pounds and 12 ounces. I don't think he's going to cut it, but we're going to be close. We'll get him to settle on down. Six pounds, 15 ounces is going to be second place. Let's go ahead and hold up one of the big ones. Travis, we started with 197. Right now, you're sitting in second place. Not too shabby. Going to get yourself a nice paycheck for a lot of hard work this week. That's what we're talking about. And these co-anglers really need to be diversified every day, making an adjustment to a, to a, a new pro and potentially a different uh, pattern. And is that what you found out there, or did you stick with one thing and just work it all three days? I have one bait that I use all three days, and I've caught fish all over, something nobody's using because it's something I use now in South Louisiana. And everybody kept looking like, man, that is the ugliest bait I've ever seen. I said, well, watch this catch one and then you see him in the boat putting it on all right so tell us what it was it was a vibrating jig but different just a little different okay can folks find it somewhere or is it just something you're going to keep to yourself they can go uh, cajun tackle house dot com they can find it uh, but it's a certain it's a certain color that i made myself boy this guy isn't giving up a thing is he all right, well played, my friend. He's got a long. He's got a. He's got a good chance at a pro pro career, doesn't he? I do want to say um, I had this was my first open, and I, I I got to fish with some of the guys I watch all the time. Uh, Jason Christie, he is one of the greatest guys I've ever got to fish with, and I learned so much. I mean, sitting over here by Stephen Browning, oh my, it, this is unbelievable. I fished the college deal, and this is the next. This is the next step, and I'm enjoying it. I put on a great tournament. I love it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Give him a big round of applause. Six pounds, 15 ounces, total weight, 2311. Okay, Mr. Christie, getting a lot of kind words up here on the stage. And now we got to see how you fared out on Ross Barnett Reservoir. Jason, again, another. Oh, my. That's a little bit of a punch in the gut, huh? Yeah, that didn't hurt you. <laughs> Jason, another one of the winners of a Bass Pro Shops at Bassmaster Open presented by Allstate. So we've had Steven. Now we got Jason. Five of the 12 anglers in this pro field have won and qualified for the Classic via this event. We're looking for 15 pounds and 8 ounces. I think you got it, don't you? I hope so. 18 pounds and 6 ounces. Jason Christie. Yeah. I, I, let's try that one. What do you think? You want to try it? I don't know if it's going to, you know, Kevin Short put that eight-pounder as the as the Bass Pro Shops, Big Bass of the Tournament on the pro side. That one, just a mere 612. Oh, what did we catch that big one on? Uh, I caught it on a swim jig. Um, you know, this is, I, whenever we were coming down here, I, you know, the guys, a lot of the guys have been here a long time ago. I've never been here, and, and th there wasn't kind words about the place. Uh, I think the last time I here was 28 pounds for three days or something. I'm telling you, this place is full of them. And the only thing for a guy like me that it's challenging is running around. You can't run little places. You guys can, but I can't. I mean, the first day I'm here, I'm running through what looks like open water, and I'm running. There's a pole out there. <laughs> And I'm running towards that pole, and I get about 100 yards from it, and I start seeing stumps all around me, and I realize it's not a pole, it's a tree, you know. Not the ideal situation, right? So I just kind of, you know, I just kind of hunkered around and tried to go back. And I made it through there without hitting anything. You know, one thing that my goal for this week was not to tear anything up because we have the Sabine next week. Um, and I did that, and I had fun. You know, practice for me was pretty slow, but uh, I just really had to figure it out. And I caught them on all kinds of things. I caught some flipping uh, a Christie critter, critter, some on a spinnerbait, booyah spinnerbait. Just, I just went fishing. And like I said, I, I couldn't run around, so I just got in the area and grinded out. 
All right. Well, well done. Put your hands together for Jason Christie. 45 pounds, 12 ounces. We're going to say goodbye to Stephen Browning. Great job. Hey, but real quick, I'd like to say hello to my, my wife and son, Tammy and Bo, back in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I mean, we stay on the road a lot without support for family and loved ones. We wouldn't we wouldn't be able to do this. So thanks, guys, and I love you. See you in a, about a week and a half. All right, and safe travels. Okay, Stephen, wish him luck going down to the Sabine River for the first stop of the 2015 Bassmaster Elite Series season. All right, now we got another one rolling on up. His name is Bradley Burns. He's from Brandon, Mississippi, local angler. Chance to fish alongside Billy Smith Jr. from Willis, Texas. All right, Billy, Billy's gonna grab that. Billy's gonna grab that big bag of fish. Bring it on. What? Oh man, you know. It's sad, but it's good, because 197 guys we started with, and girls, and right now you're currently sitting in eighth place, not too shabby. No, man, I'll take that any day. I tell you, it's a, a difficult day today. It wasn't what I was used to fishing in the previous days, but uh, I enjoyed the heck out of fishing with my buddy here, uh, Ross Barnett. I tell you, I got some good fans out here, and the lake's actually pretty nice itself, but um, I had a good time. I'd like to tell my family hello back home, my wife kids everybody back home and uh hopefully we can do it in the next one uh, i'd love to see that it's been fun having you out here safe travels down the road uh, when billy's leaving we're gonna ask bradley burns to pack up his bag of fish and get on up here he's got some work to do he's got five fish the limit on the pro side they all need to measure 12 inches long. They all seem alive and kicking. Great job with the fish care, as always. The angler's doing a fantastic job this week. Oh, they're very much alive, aren't they? They are. Well done. Anyone you want to say hello to? Yes, I'd like to say hello to my wife. All right. Well, you just did. 11 pounds and 10 ounces. Going to move you inside the top five into third place. Let's hold a couple of those up. We're going to get some photos for Bassmaster.com, and you can log on to Bassmaster.com, check out all these great photos. All right. Okay. Tell us about your week. Um, well, I, I want to say two things. Um, first thing is I, I really want to thank my wife because, you know, I'm, I'm not a professional, and she has been gracious enough to work all week and take care of the kids so that I get the opportunity to come out here and fish for several days in a row and play with some of the guys that you see on TV. So, and then uh, the second thing I want to say is, you know, thanks to, you know, Bass for coming back here and giving us, you know, some of the local guys a, a chance to, you know, to, to kind of play with the likes of the folks that, you know, on the tour just to see how we can do. And sometimes we do good, sometimes we don't, but we thoroughly enjoy it. Well, I don't know, folks. I think you did pretty good, don't you? Total weight of 39 pounds and two ounces. Going to move them all the way up into third place. All right, another angler, local angler from Brandon, Mississippi. The field was loaded with them. We heard 25 anglers from Brandon, Mississippi. Ramey Harrell, come on up. Fishing alongside Randy Kraft from Seminary, Mississippi. A couple Mississippi guys spending the day together. We get the co-angler to come on up here. Hey, guys, be careful with that fence. You're going to go right over. So, go ahead. Oh, okay, Randy. You get, had 14 pounds, 12 ounces after two days, correct? I did. You need 10 pounds and 12 ounces to take over the lead. Not quite going to be enough to do that, but 5 pounds, 5 ounces is going to move you inside the top five into fourth place. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to say hi to my wife. Hadn't seen her in a few days and uh, enjoyed everything and appreciate everything y'all guys did for us. And we appreciate you coming out and fishing with us. Uh, we hope to see you down the road. We will. Well, thank you. All right. Take care, my friend. <sighs> Ramey Harrell doing a little show off. He's sitting in 12th place right now, so he's got nowhere to go but up, and he's going to do it. He had 27 pounds and 8 ounces after two days of competition. He has a limit of fish. Man, all these pros catching a limit so far today. See if we can keep it on up. 
<sighs> we got five. They need to go 18-5, though. They ain't going to make it. Not quite going to be enough, but we're going to go ahead and get a weight. 13 pounds, 10 ounces, going to move them all the way up into third place. Hold a couple up here on the stage and give him a big round of applause. Nice. <sighs> Pretty fantastic week for you either way, no matter how this shakes up. A lot of fun. It's been a good experience, and uh, I've had a great, great time. So thank you guys for coming here. All right. What do you think? Should we come back some more? Definitely. If I do, will you show up? Most definitely. Then I'm definitely coming back. Good job. 41 pounds, 2 ounces, third place right now. Thank you, Ramey. Great job this week. And now we'll have Bixby, Oklahoma's Freddie Boom Boom Roban has come on on up. See Freddie on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's fishing alongside Steve Bocock. Got it, Steve. Steve's in 12th place right now. He's got a limit of fish. Bill, you getting hot? You all right? Yeah, I am burning up. Okay. Is, it, is it over yet? Not quite. We're about halfway through. All right. Steve, we're looking for 11-3, and these three fish aren't the three to make that, are they? No, sir, they're not, but uh, I had a good day, though. Four pounds, seven ounces, you got, did have three bass, going to get a total weight of 18-12. Inside that top ten in seventh place, tell us about your experience this week, if you would. Well, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect being my first tournament, but I drew out really uh, three really good pros. They treated me good and got me on fish. It's just uh, it was a tough week. Well, I don't know, man. You're sitting right now in seventh place. That's not too shabby. 190 guys saying, hey, he made it look easy. Well, yeah, even a blind dog finds a bone every once in a while. So. Oh, that was very, very appropriate, seeing how it's dog days at uh, at the Bass Pro Shops. Yeah, well, uh, it's my first trip to Mississippi, and I hope I'll be back soon. All right. They'd love to have you back. And thank you again, Ridgeland, Mississippi, for sponsoring us. This week, we really appreciate it, rolling out the red carpet. Of course, our friends here at the Bass Pro Shops in Pearl and all the great bass fishing fans of Mississippi, thank you for coming out each and every day. All right, Fred's digging around. He's got something ugly about to come out of there. You know that. Yeah, that's what I figured right there. <laughs> when they're fishing around, that's usually a good sign for the angler in the boat. Not so good for the guy sitting on the stage. That said, with a solid day today, he's needing... 18 pounds and five ounces to take over the lead. He's got a five fish limit. That anchor fish we saw. Why don't you go up on the back? There we go. Now we're talking. 18.5 is what we're looking for. You got it, Fred? No, not quite. I, you know, today they just didn't bite for me like they, like I thought they would. Um, but I'll tell you what, this whole week was was a lot of fun. 13 pounds, 11 ounces. We're going to hear about it momentarily. Want to get some stage pictures of you first? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's do that. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I caught a 6-9 yesterday, and it looks almost like it's twin brother. Or sister. All right. Let's see. Maybe it's the same one. Maybe that one we released yesterday swam right back. Well, it didn't quite catch in the same area, but maybe. What was the yesterday one? Six, nine. Oh, no. This one's much bigger. Six pounds, ten ounces. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. You guys got one heck of a fishery here. Uh, I had a blast. You know, I actually heard that this is where, like, frog fishing originated. And when I heard this was on the uh, schedule, I just had to come out here and fish. A little early in the season to throw a frog. I definitely tried. But, um, you know, this week I caught fish on, on just about everything in my box. Um, some of, the, some of the key baits I threw, one of them was a, a Pepper Custom Baits Rumbler um, with an optimum bait, double diamond on the back. Um, and then uh, spinner baits, I used Pepper Spinner Baits. Uh, I flipped a lot with LaRue Biffle Bug. And uh, just, you know, really covered a lot of water, buzz baits. Um, man, it was, it was so much fun. And that's what, what's cool about it is like what Stephen Browning said, is you can come out here and, and know that you only need to go in five foot of water or less. And uh, I know guys like Jason and I especially, we really like that shallow water bite and uh you know one of my new sponsors this year and uh jason as well we got garmin on board and uh with those electronics uh, 
it's crazy what we're going to be able to do in some of these offshore fisheries. That's going to help us shallow water guys in the future. Um, but, uh, you know, I really got to thank Legend Boats, Mercury Outboards, Power Poles. Power Poles were, were essential this week. I mean, you had to stop down, drop them, and, and you'd catch several fish in one area before you'd move on. Um, you know, and, and Ima Lures, they stepped it up. Soon we'll have Ima Lures here in Bass Pro Shops, which will be nice. And, uh, you know, Legend Boats, like I said, they're, they, they've come a long way, and I'm just so thankful to be a part of them. And Iron Cross Automotive, thank you for being one of my title sponsors this year. All right, great stuff, Freddie. Put your hands together for Fred Roban. That's 41 pounds, three ounces, right now sitting in third place. All right, now we're getting down to business. Had a monster bag yesterday. He's a Bassmaster Classic champion from 2006. Put your hands together for Luke Clausen. All the way from Washington. And he got a f chance to fish alongside Adam Horn from Madison, Mississippi. Adam's going to go ahead and get his fish and come on up here. Step right up to the back deck, Adam. Oh, no. Get up. Oh, he's going to take. Okay. Nope. He faked us out. All right. Yeah. Okay. Who are you waving to? Pardon? Who are you waving to? That's oh, there's someone way back sign. there. Who's that way back there in the back? Way back in the back. That's my wife and my three-year-old. All right. All right, we're going to get these to settle down. There they go. Six pounds, 13 ounces. Six, 13. Going to move you up into third place. Hold a couple of those up. Going to cash himself a nice check this week. Third place in the co Angler side with total weight of 21 pounds. Five ounces, 21.5. Ah, oh, man. It's great when you can be out here on a Saturday afternoon at Bass Pro Shops, weighing in with a bunch of friends and family like this. I love it. Couldn't ask for anything better. Come back and do it again? Love to. Great job. Thank you. Appreciate you, Adam. 21 pounds, five ounces, third place overall. Come on, Luke. Let's see what you got. Had a great day yesterday. Made the biggest jump and got that all-state good hands. Great day. Moved all the way, what was it, from 139th to 7th? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yesterday was an incredible day. Uh, you know, the kind of move I needed to make after uh, after having the day I did the first day. and I probably stayed out there a little long today, but yesterday was just phenomenal. You know, it makes you realize how many fish are in this lake of great quality. So what, yesterday, what uh, what was going on? Tell me a little bit about the day. Run us through it. You, you know, the first day, I really thought I was going to catch them on a spinner bait. That's the way I, I'd practiced and had a bunch of bites doing that. And the first day, I had a lot of fish hit my spinner bait and couldn't catch them. And I went back to one of the same areas the second day and picked up a new Project Z Chatterbait by Z-Man that you can actually buy in Bass Pro here on Tackle Warehouse. And um, it was just lights out. It was uh, phenomenal. It had great conditions for a chatterbait and caught a, a ton of fish out there. Kept moving around and catching one, uh, just one three and a half pounder after another, and frustrated I couldn't call. And uh, it's not every day you get to go through that. All right, sounds like an awesome day. We have heard a lot of, about the chatterbait this week. Today's weight, 10 pounds, 8 ounces, is going to move you up into sixth place with 38.3. Good to see you as always. Thank you, Luke Clausen. All right, this young man representing ULM, Brett Pruitt. Of course, qualified for the 2015 Bassmaster Classic just a few weeks ago via our Bassmaster College Series. And he's done very well here this week. Got a chance to fish alongside Texarkana, Arkansas's Michael Yoder. Michael trying to make a run up this leaderboard. He's got himself the three-fish co-angler limit coming on up to the scales. Oh, we're doing all right. <sighs> Yes, sir. Doing, doing fine, man. I've had a blast. Uh, fished with some great people. Met a local yesterday. He was my boater. Invited me to eat with him. Let me stay with him. Uh, Rami Harrell and his wife and kids are great. Fished with Brett today. He was sick, had the flu, and he fished all day. I looked up there, and he just looked like he was about to die. But he hung in there, and we fished all day hard. And these, these anglers are amazing, co-anglers, pro-anglers. You guys persevere through whatever conditions, whether it be a medical-related issue, um, you know, or certainly uh, the weather, and, and we've had some of that over the week. And, uh, you know, right now, sitting in fifth place with 20 pounds, 8 ounces, you've had a fantastic week. 
I've had a great time. A special thanks to everybody, Bass, uh, all the workers and staff, everybody. Thank the good Lord, wife and kids, and I'm going home. All right. Safe travels to you. We'll give you a little paycheck first, though, okay, Michael? 20 pounds and 8 ounces. All right. From Monroe, Louisiana, Brett Pruitt coming on up. Oh man, I don't know. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be close. Yeah, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, and uh, this is the first time I've seen sun in about two weeks. So this seat's pretty awesome. <laughs> He's loving it. You need 16 pounds, eight ounces. Ooh, 11.5 gonna fall a little bit shy, but let's hold a couple of those up if you don't mind. Get some photos. All right. Oh, yeah. Been a great week for you. It has been a great week. I'm telling you, uh, God blessed me because I uh, had the flu and stuff yesterday, and uh, I'm so thankful just to be here and fishing in this top 12. And uh, I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's been a wonderful experience, and uh, I can't, couldn't do it without the friends, family, and support. Everybody's always there for me, and I have some of the best sponsors working uh, with me. So, Man, it's out here living the dream. All right, great to have you. Fantastic week for you, despite being sick. Sick, uh, you know, just a couple weeks off the off the Bassmaster Classic uh, and looking looking for an opportunity to go back. I know you're trying to earn some points, uh, potentially following the Lee brothers' uh, footsteps. You know, moving up from college champion to Bassmaster Elite Series Pro. Something you aspire to do? Oh yeah, this is definitely a great start. Uh, getting these good points to help try to qualify and be in the elite series and uh fishing with these guys one day so uh I, like i said i'm thank the lord and uh i'm i'm glad to glad to be fishing here and make the top 12 so great job i'll give you a fist bump all right thank you man 40 pounds 10 ounces fifth place overall for brett pruitt oh here he comes mr brent chapman you see him on the bass master elite series part of team livingston Rent rolling on up here. That Toyota Tundra, part of that bonus box program. He got to fish alongside Jim Hemphill. Oh, Jim, Jim's from Brandon, Mississippi. Yeah, we'll go ahead and settle down right there. Perfect. Jim's going to go ahead and get his fish. Okay, now it's getting a little more interesting. How we doing, Bill? Oh, it's getting worse. It's real. You're giving me a headache. You need a water, do you? I I've already drank one, but I'm, you can't tell it. My mouth's so dry. All right. Well, we're going to see what happens. This is where it gets a little cool. All right. He needs, he's got three fish for sure. He needs, oh, you need eight pounds, 15 ounces to take over the lead. You got it? Don't have it. Today's wait for you. Four pounds and nine ounces is going to move you to fourth place. Great week for you, though. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, it was a good week. I rode with some three good uh, pro anglers. Uh, Brent Chapman and uh, Johnny Johnson and uh, Wesley Rogers from Arkansas. The three great guys. Couldn't ask for a better draw. Had a great time. And we had a great time having you here. Appreciate you, Jim. Take care. Safe travels all the way back to Brandon. Come on up, Brent Chapman. Brent's getting ahead along with a lot of these other guys down to the Sabine River in Orange, Texas. But uh, you had a little weekend work, a little overtime to do here on a Saturday. Are you okay with that? Yeah, it's always great to work overtime, that's for sure. Today's wait for you. Get them to settle down. 7 pounds, 12 ounces. 7.12, going to give you total weight of 37.6. Eighth place, good start for you. Yeah, you know, it really is. Uh, you know, any, any time you can put yourself in, in position to win, you know, it's always great and to be fishing on Saturday. Uh, obviously, I'm a little disappointed how today went. I just, uh, you know, I should have I, I zigged when I should have zagged type of deal. It was really frustrating because there was a lot of fish caught around me, and I just didn't get the quality bites. But, uh, you know, we still had a good tournament, and, uh, and hopefully I can take this momentum into the Sabine River next week. All right. Well, great having you here. Safe travels and good luck this season, okay, my friend? Yeah, sent Brent off with a big round of applause. Things are getting started on a good note right here. All right, our next angler, part of Team Nitro. Come on up, Chris Jones. Chris fishing alongside Jim McCaskill. And Jim was our Livingston lure leader. And he does have himself one fish. Our leader has one fish, Bill. 
I don't think he needs very much. He needs to have needs to have four ounce four no four pounds four pounds twelve ounces. No way. Not going to do it, is it, Jim? One pound, one ounce, not quite enough to regain your lead. I just want to tell you I had a great pro today. That fish took 1,517 casts to catch that fish. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. He seems like he was a lot of fun today, huh, Chris? All right, come on up, Chris Jones. Uh, Chris is only a couple today, so these guys, they just kind of... Weren't around them, or was it getting the bites and just not getting them in the boat? What was the deal? I just didn't get the bites. I was around them. I watched some guys catch them today. It was it was one of them frustrating days. Um, I don't know what happened. Either way, it shakes out. Good week for you sitting in ninth place right now. Oh, yeah, it was a great week. You know, good good points going back to my house, you know, back up home in Oklahoma and Missouri. Uh, good way to start out the year. I was, you know, maybe I can carry the momentum into, into the fall. We got a big break, but sounds good. It seems like every year we do this one in the spring, and then we take the summer off, and we hit you up with a couple in the fall. Yeah, I mean, it gives us time to rebound anyway. i got some bunch of tournaments at home I'm ready to fish, and, and uh, you know, i got a couple BFLs coming up next week. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, safe travels to you. Four pounds in an ounce, 35 even for you, sitting in ninth place. All right, this is going to be our second stop of the Bass Pro Shops. Bassmaster Central Opens, presented by Allstate, Fort Gibson Lake in Wagner, Oklahoma, and that's where Tommy Biffle calls home. Tommy's fishing alongside Cole Finley, Forsyth, Missouri. Woohoo! Ah, hello. All right, Cole's going to go ahead and get his bag of fish and come on up here. He's got himself five pounds and nine ounces from the lead. Do you got enough, Cole? Do not have enough. Oh, fell a little bit short, huh? Yes. We had a interesting day, but it was just one of those days for myself. Today's weight for you, two pounds and 14 ounces, is going to move you all the way up into third place. All right, you don't want to say hello or thank anyone? I don't know, there's some people that came out here that probably you need to say thank you to, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I got my daughter and my wife and my best friend out there, and we've had a, a fun week. It's been a great experience. I uh, learned a lot. That's what I'm here for. So. And they're getting a great shot of Don Barone's head right now, too. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good shot or not, but... <laughs> All right. Thank you, my friend. Great job this week. Appreciate you coming out. Two pounds and 14 ounces. 22-13 for the tournament. Third place overall. All right. He knows how this thing is done. Another one of the anglers that has won a Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open presented by Allstate. He punched his ticket to Bassmaster Classic via that route. He's got a five-fish limit. 30 pounds and 15 ounces after two days of competition. He needs 14-14. See you later. Yeah, I think I'm headed on down the road. All right, we're going to wait. 21 pounds and 10 ounces. Tommy Biffle jumps to the top of the leaderboard. Okay. Oh, man. Golly. I always like to bust on Tommy, but uh, he knows how to catch him. And I'm sure it was the biffle bug, because every tournament it is. Was it the biffle bug? No bug here. Oh, well, good. Okay. What would you catch him on? Uh, I caught him on a little bit of everything. I, the, the main bait I caught him on was my biffalo lizard the first two days. and I knew it had to be biffle something. And, and a spinner bait. And then uh, today I ended up catching him on a swim bait. So you really kind of moved, moved around each and every day as far as your bait selection, huh? Yeah, yep, and the water temperature warm up, you know, and those fish. I really thought I had a little bit more than that. I was uh, pretty excited, but, uh, you know, the fish are getting up real shallow next week. It'll be awesome here. Yeah, this thing's, uh, you know, it's been getting progressively better each and every day. Practice kind of tough, and, it, you know, first day of the term, and I think a lot of heads were getting scratched on, you know, where things are going. And then obviously today virtually every angler's had a limit of fish. Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, the fish are moving up, and, and my key to my deal was uh, warmer water. Uh, I went to the bank, right up to the bank about 12 o'clock, and the water went 65 degrees, and uh, immediately went and started catching them. 
All right, great stuff. Thank you, Tommy. 52 pounds, 9 ounces, a new leader. Jason Christie going to say goodbye. Yeah, there's two things I want to say. I have an idea. Uh, you guys need to get together and go to the chamber, and, and let's see about bringing an Elite Series event here. This would be an... Uh, yeah, th this would be an awesome venue this time of year. We want we want to come we want to come in March. And the other thing I want to say is one of the, I love my job. One of the bad things about my job is being gone a lot. Um, you know, my daughter got beat in the semi state championship game last night. I wasn't there. I was able to watch it on TV. But I want to say that I'm proud of her and and uh, I appreciate my wife running the show while I'm gone. All right, and all you guys have a lot of family support back at home. Safe travels. Good luck next week. All right. True sportsman. Oh, 21 pounds, 10 ounces for Tommy Biffle. 52 9. He is in the hot seat. And when he's settling down, Jay Brainerd from Oklahoma fishing his first BASS event here with us. First Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open. He fished alongside Heath Gilmore from Meridian, Mississippi. We're going to, oh, yeah, we got some. All right. They're over there. He's got some fans out here. We're glad to see that. He's got himself a bag of fish. He's going to bring them up on the scales. We're looking for six pounds, two ounces. Ah, you've been sitting there a long time. How long How long have you been sitting there? I don't know, but it's been uh, more time in the sun right now than I've seen all week. <laughs> That's for sure. That's all of us, though. Come on over, Heath. All right, just one fish. Unfortunately, not going to be enough because it's not a giant at one pound, four ounces, but it is going to move you inside the top ten all the way up into seventh place. Tell us about your experience. Well, I'd say it was a tough day, but it wasn't. I did uh, what I come here to do, and that was to learn something. And y'all keep calling this Jay fellow a rookie? No way, huh? Tommy Biffle, you better look out. You got one coming. He's coming one day. He's a great guy. I had a wonderful time with him. I learned a lot today. I got to thank my one sponsor out here, uh, Jill. <laughs> Where's Jill? Jill's uh, custom lures over there? Yeah. Yeah, they just drove back from Florida to come watch me weigh one fish, so I'm glad they showed up. Well, do me a favor. Take that nice paycheck we're going to um, give you for, uh, you know, seventh, uh, potentially eighth place finish. Uh, we're going to give you a nice paycheck. Take them to dinner, okay? I'll take them, I'll take them all out to eat. All right, sounds good. One pound, four ounces today. 20 pounds and 10 ounces for the tournament. Seventh place overall. All right, Jay Brainard, come on up. He says you've been stroking them out there. You got a big one. Let's show the folks. They need to see a big fish right now. Jay Brainard. What? Man. Ah. <sighs> That's a chunk right there. I'm go ahead and get him in the bag. We'll get a total weight. We're going to take some photos momentarily. Uh, that might not have been the big one, he said. You got more in there. Yes, sir. Looking for 19 pounds and 8 ounces. Bam! 21 pounds and 6 ounces. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hold a couple of those up. We're getting some photos. Man, Tommy, this kid did all right, didn't he? Yeah, he did. That's uh, that's what we're all looking for, those right there. First bass open as a pro. Told us it was a long, hard road to get here. Right now, you want to try one for? All right. Well, let's go ahead. Just hold them up one more time so the folks watching. Okay, we'll go ahead and get them in that bag. We're going to wait on it. Right now, again, Kevin Short. Has the Bass Pro Shops, the big bass of the tournament. That is a $750 award. Jade like to grab a little bit of that money. Not quite going to be enough at 6 pounds and 11 ounces. 6, 11. Oh, man, I saw you on the dock the other day. We were doing a little work around the weigh-in site, getting ready for everything kicked off. And you can kind of share with me a little story and uh, share with the folks out here and watching at home kind of little tidbits about your travels to get here. Uh, well, it's been a tough road. Um, when I, I used to rodeo professionally, and when I was done with that, uh, me and my wife, who I've got to thank, it takes a team to do this. Love you. Oh, there she is. All right. Great te job, Team Brainerd. 
Uh, anyways, I've had a truck totaled, a truck stolen. Uh, if it could go wrong, it went wrong. And today it went right. You just persevered through all of that, and here you are, plopping down 54 pounds and 8 ounces, leading this open right now. What kind of baits, man? I mean, you've been smashing them out there. Well, first of all, i got to thank 13 Fishing and Core Strike Baits for getting me here, and my wife. She, they got my wife here today, too. So, uh, anyways, I'm, I've been skipping docks the whole tournament. Uh, I found a, an area, I pointed it out, said the winning fish probably live in there. And I had a tough day yesterday. They repositioned on me today, but I'm actually skipping a spinnerbait and a sweet beaver. And I followed up a little bit. I had a lot of short strikes, and I followed up with a jerk bait today, and that put a few in the boat. Uh, I didn't need those fish, and it's probably good, because the way I was skipping in there, I was only about five, six foot from the dock. And a six-pounder on a short string on a jerk bait equals no good. <laughs> so they, they mainly came on the spinner bait and the sweet beaver. All right, great job. I appreciate you coming out and fishing with us. And I'm going to ask you for the first time in your very young career, say goodbye to Tommy Biffle and take that hot seat right there. Thank you, Tommy. I'd just like to thank everybody for coming out. And, uh, you know, it's a great lake. It's uh it's a lot of fun to come down here in the spring and fish, so uh, I'm kind of like Jason. Maybe we can have a top uh, lead here uh, someday. And, uh, you know, I'd like to thank my wife, Sharon, Jennifer, for their home watching. So, Safe travels, man. Good luck next week. You looking forward to it? Oh. You want me, tr you want me to tell the truth or lie? I want you to lie. Tell me you're super stoked. You can't wait to get the 2015 Bassmaster Elite Series started. Yeah, it's, it'll be good to get it started, but I'm not wild about the Sabine. <laughs> now your favorite place. You're you're more about coming back here with an elite next spring about this time, huh? I heard the Sabine was flooded, and the rumor is that uh, we might go to Toledo Bend. All right, you'd like that, huh? That'd be better. <laughs> All right. All right. Hopefully uh, Orange, Texas is not got on the Internet right now. <sighs> All right. Come on up. Our last... Pairing of the day, he went out as the Livingston lure leader in the pro division, Gene Bishop from Ridgeland, Mississippi. And he fished alongside Gary Sullivan from Woodson, Texas. <sighs> we're going to go ahead and get uh, Gary on up here. And we're going to ask Gene to just sit tight momentarily. <sighs> How we doing, Bill? You better call an ambulance. I'm about to have a heart attack. Okay, well, we're going to get this done. We're going to talk to Gary first. Gary, you need quite a bit of weight to get this thing done. Anyone you want to say thanks to? Uh, thanks to the guys that took me fishing. It was, it was a great experience. All right, you needed seven pounds and seven ounces. You got four pounds and an ounce. Thank you. And that's going to make it official. Oh. <sighs> Bill McGown, you are the champion of the Bass Pro Shops of Bassmaster Central Open, Ross Burnett Reservoir, Ridgeland, Mississippi, Co-Angler Division. Oh, Bill, Bill, Bill. You waited a long time there, but you stuck it out and you persevered. You were the first co-angler to weigh in, and you're the last one standing on the stage. You think you can get some air conditioning for that corner? <laughs> man. I'll work on it. Oh, man, it's hot, especially when you're waiting for all these guys, and you know each one of them have the capability of knocking your doors off. So we appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank my wife of 50 years. Congratulations on that. Well done, my friend. Thanks. I'll, uh, I love I love the fish BASS, and I really like to fish this lake, of course. It, it just became one of my favorite lakes. Probably at the top of the list. It is, at the very top of the list. All right. Well, you're going to win yourself a brand-new Triton boat powered by a Mercury Outboard. It's been a fantastic event for you. Appreciate yourself and all the great co-anglers uh, coming out. Look forward to seeing you down the road. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And a special thanks to all three of my 
uh, bass pro fishermen. Uh, without them, of course, we couldn't have been there. But uh, they're super. They they treat you super. Uh, they share baits with you. They share water, of course. And uh, if anybody's interested in fishing these as a pro am, you need to come out and try this. You'll love it. Never know. Win yourself a boat just like Bill did. Thanks again, Bill. Appreciate you. Take care. Safe travels. We'll see you out back. Uh, I'm sure they're going to want to get some interviews from, from you. All right. All right. Hey, Gene, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. I'm going to ask you to just leave your fish in the boat because I know you got a couple. Come on up here and talk to me real quick. And then we'll send you back. <sighs> we'll send you back to get them momentarily. But uh, before you do, we're going to make uh, poor Jay. How you doing, Jay? Yeah, I'm great. Okay. He hasn't been there that long. He hasn't been there as long as Bill was. So we got to make him sweat it out a little bit. Uh, Gene, good, great week for you. You uh, uh, smashed him yesterday. What was that, 26? 26 what? 26 one, pounds, one ounce. 26, over 26 pounds of bass yesterday after uh, day one was, uh, I think he had like eight pounds and something. Yes, sir. Uh, I, did, I thought I had him figured out, and I didn't, so I moved to the bank and basically started whacking him. And first of all, I'd like to thank all the fans, uh, Mississippi fans. Uh, all right, is this not awesome? Look at man, they're way over there. Now look at look at them down here. I don't know what to say. Well, you've done you've done a great great job. I'm going to ask you to go ahead with 34 pounds and 14 ounces. I'm going to ask you to wander on back to the boat there. I want to thank Bass Bass Pro Shops, and I want to thank uh, you for being a great director and everybody, and let's see what we got. All right, let's see what we got. He's going to head back to the boat. I'm going to tip you all off. Gene does have a five-fish limit. <sighs> Jay, Jay, you look, do you, need a, do you need a bucket? No, I'm good, man. Okay. He's looking a little flush. Show us something, Gene. Gene, show us one, man. Show us one. You got something in there to show the folks? You must have one. Caught 26 pounds yesterday. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <sighs> Be careful there, Gene. That's a long hop. All right, we'll go ahead and get that boat to... Just kind of ease on up. Watch out, folks. He's coming that way. <sighs> we need 19 pounds and 11 ounces. He has a limit of fish. 19.11 is what we're looking for. Settling down on the scales. 21 pounds even. <laughs> Great job. Hold a couple up. Gosh. Got attacked. Good job, Jay. Yep. All right. I don't think we have an eight-pounder there. Gene, come on over here. Jay would like to shake your hands. Jay's going to end up in second place. <sighs> so you moved to the bank, turned your day around from eight pounds to 26 pounds. Yes, I did. I, I knew where they uh, some good ones move up to. Uh, so I, I figured, you know, I would just go fishing and see if they were there. And the first fish I caught yesterday was like 7, 5. And I thought, well, we're going to stay here the rest of the day. And you did that, and I guess same thing again today? Yes, sir. And I, the little birdie told me you were kind of struggling early today, and uh, they thought maybe it wasn't going to happen, but uh, it turned around. What time did you sense that change happen? It was about 11 o'clock. It was slow. I did catch a 4, like right off the bat, and a couple of bucks. And... I, I noticed that people weren't fishing further south, and so I went around the point, and for like an hour, it was on like Donkey Kong. All right. Well, let's go ahead and make this official. We're going to take this hardware right here and ask Gene to hold it over his head. Gene Bishop from Ridgeland, Mississippi. 55 pounds and 14 ounces. Thing's heavy, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. I'm not letting go of this. <laughs> God, I can't. This feels like a dream. I don't. I don't. I don't even. I don't even know. <laughs> well, great job. Thank you, everyone. Oh, we got one last bit of business. Come on up, Jay. We're gonna go ahead. Uh, Gene will ask you. You can take that thing with you. We'll go ahead and. Uh, Ask uh, ask uh, Jay to come on up here. Gene, you can go off. I'm sure there's some folks that want to talk to you because I promised everyone I'd draw for two more. Who was hurt here and heard me say that? All right. We're going to go ahead uh, mix that up because they accuse me of not uh, mixing it up good enough. We got two more $25 gift cards for Bass Pro Shop, and it gives me an opportunity when we're doing this. One, six, zero, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Oh, there he is, the man in the orange. Jim, do me a favor, Jim, over here. Confirm his ticket and give him that. Give him that if it if it indeed checks out. Okay. All right. We all know it's one six zero. How about five six eight? One six zero five six eight for a ba twenty five dollar Bass Pro Shop gift card. I'm listening hard. I don't hear anyone. Five, six, eight, once, twice, gone. All right. How about one, six? Oh, you guys got the one I just called? All right. If you come on up here, we'll go ahead and confirm that and give you the gift card. I want to thank everyone so much for coming out. Of course, all of our sponsors, Bass Pro Shops and Allstate, our presenting sponsor, Toyota, Berkeley Bates, Evan Williams Bourbon, of course, Triton Boats and Mercury Outboards giving, a great, giving away two of those great Mer Triton Mercury rigs here this week in the Pro and Co-Anger Division. Skeeter Boats and Yamaha Outboards, thank you guys uh, for everything you do to support Bass. We appreciate it. Hummingbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Nitro Boats, GoPro, and of course our great supporting sponsors, Carhartt, Livingston Lure, Power Pole. Ah, I'm looking to see. It doesn't look like Gene did have the Power Pole, so we're not going to have that Captain's uh, Cash uh, Award. Livingston Lures, Lawrence Electronics, Hook Gear, excited to have that apparel company on board. Dick Seepick Tires, ARE Truck Caps. Oh, man, glad to have them on board. Had several several come through. I believe Jane had a ARE truck cap. We're going to confirm that. He'll get that $500 bonus. And, of course, Shimano. I also want to thank the Ridgeland Tourism Commission for bringing us to town. The great volunteers, thank you all for uh, helping take care of these fish and getting back to the fishery. And, of course, the staff here at the Bass Pro Shops in Pearl, Mississippi, Always a pleasure to work with that group. And mostly, thank you, the fans of Mississippi and those watching on Bassmaster.com for coming out and supporting us and cheering on our athletes. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next time.
this too. All right, we will have the uh, top 12 checks in a brief award presentation out here front and center in just a few minutes. If the anglers want to come around here and get around the front of the stage, that would be terrific. All you anglers looking for checks in uh, potentially our top three getting a trophy, or our top three, potentially you're getting a trophy. Top three getting a trophy, uh, we'll hand you that uh, here shortly. We still cooking hot dogs down there, Kendall? Yeah, they still got some hot dogs down there if you want to go see Kendall Newson. And watermelon, too. All right. Free of charge, correct?
Tis, tis. All right, we got some checks. If you're out back, pro co-anglers, let's get up here in the front. We'll give you some money to take home with you. Who wants money? My goodness, did you have ice cream? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I asked. She didn't have ice cream. She puked. <laughs> That's what he just told me. <laughs> it was after the ice cream, probably. All right, I'm not seeing many of the pro anglers up here. I see Brett. You guys want chicks? If you're out back, let's come on up front. Any pro and co anglers that fish today, if you want your chicks. We do have trophies for uh, the top three in each division. Kevin Short did get the uh, Bassmaster, big, the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Big Bass of the tournament on the pro side, $750. Where's Jay Brainerd, second place? Jay around here? I don't see him. I guess we'll uh, hold on to this for Jay and his trophy. Jay's check is uh, not too shabby, $19,963 for Jay. Not bad for his first uh, bass event. Tommy Biffle, third place, $14,700, I'm sorry, $972. Tommy, once, twice, a lot of these guys hanging down, heading down to the Sabine River to get practicing on Monday. Jason Christie, my guess is he's gone. $13,396. All right, moving on to Stephen Browning. He's heading to Sabine. This field was loaded with Elite Series pros. $11,689. Fred Robanis, $9,981 for Fred. And how about John, Ramey Harrell, John Ramey Harrell, $8,405. Great job. Thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate you, all right? And he was in eighth place, I'm sorry, in seventh place. In eighth place, Brett Pruitt, $6,698. And how about Bradley Burns, $4,991? Good job. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. Luke Clawson, $4,597 for Luke. I don't see him. He also got the... Uh, as we talked about, the All-State Good Hands, great day for the largest jump. It was ridiculous what he he did, uh, 132 spots. He moved up. That was $250 bonus. Brent Chapman, $4,203. Heading to Sabine. Chris Jones, $3,940. Team Nitro's Chris Jones, I guess he's headed out as well. I wish I had those kinds of funds. I could just head on out. Bill McCown, come on up. Where's Bill? He's probably running around with his trophy. He needs to get his certificate for a Triton 179 TRX powered by Mercury. 115 horsepower Merc. Yeah, 115 horsepower Pro XS. That's what I'm trying to say. Motor guy, trolling motor, Lawrence Electronics, a prop trailer, all that good stuff. We'll get that to Bill. Hopefully he hasn't left without it. 
All right, second place in the co-angler division, not too shabby, $6,435.37, Travis Laurent. I knew I saw you. I just saw you. I'm like, surely. I, I didn't leave. Trust me. I'll do it for the check. I appreciate it. Congratulations, okay? Oh, sweet. Well, appreciate it. Great job. I did that one. Cole Finley, $4,859.36 and a cool trophy. Gary Sullivan, he had the Bass Pro Shops, big bass of the tournament. In the co-angler side, it was 7 pounds, 3 ounces. It was worth $250. And he also got fourth place overall worth $3,283.35. Is Gary Sullivan around? Going once, going twice, dinner. All right. Jim McCaskill, three thousand twenty dollars. Jim, fifth place. Thank you. Great job. Hey, up top. Up top. Up top. I know. I'm scared. I'm scared too. Scare myself sometimes when I wake up. Adam Horn, two thousand eight hundred eighty-nine dollars and thirty-five cents. You get the thirty-five cents. He told me. Awesome job. Hop up. All right. All right. Did I get you? All right. James Hempel. Did I get it, Jim? All right. It's two thousand seven hundred fifty-eight dollars and two cents. Heath Gilmore, $2,626 for Heath. Don't spend it all in one place. All right. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Oh, yeah, I'd like, oh, look at her. She's got a, her shirt embroidered. All right, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Lisa, Lisa right here that works for us, big angler. Fished the WBT for a couple years, right? Michael Yoder, $2,495.35 for Michael. I think he told us earlier he was going to head on out. Randy Kraft, $2,232.68. Charles Steve Bocock. There he is. How about one thousand nine hundred seventy dollars and one cent? Thank you. I appreciate you coming out. Okay. And here we are, rounding out that top twelve in twelfth place. Billy Wade Smith, one thousand eight hundred thirty-eight dollars and sixty-eight cents. Appreciate you coming out, man. That's great. Okay. Thanks. Oh, hey, let's put our hands together for Jay Brainerd. Here he is, second place pro. I'm going to say this again, $19,963. Not the same as winning, but it, it sure uh, sure beats uh, second place in a lot of tournaments. Yeah, man, I wanted the classic so bad, but uh, we're going to shoot for the Elite Series now. All right, sounds good. Here's your second place trophy. Find a plus spot for that. Thank you. Appreciate you coming out. That should do it. If we got any pros that showed up later, co angers didn't get their checks. We're going to start tearing this thing down. Thanks again, everyone, for coming on. We look forward to seeing you next time. We're here in Mississippi.